For this Marx Generator video, I have a pressurized water mister set up so that it'll spray between the discharge electrodes. The discharge electrodes are set at a 7 inch separation and the fine mist from this pressurized water mister will pass right between them. Let's see what, if any, effect a water mist has on the Marx discharge. Well, let's give Marx generator through water mist a try. The water mist is activated and can be seen in the video. We'll Re-aim it a little bit. Yes, that looks good. Let's hit the Marx on. Lower the room lighting. Lighting back to normal. The Mark's discharge looked pretty ordinary through the plain water mist, so I had an idea that maybe I should try adding a bunch of salt into the water to make it a bit more conductive, and also see if we get any uh, yellow tint at all from the sodium. I have no idea what'll happen, but let's give the salt water a try here. Here I've got the same setup as before, same 7 inch discharge electrode separation, but there's now a strong salt water solution inside the uh, pressurized mister. Let's give this a try. The salt mister is misting, let's fire up the marks. Adding the salt doesn't seem to have had any great effect on things. Even if we lower room lighting, the Mark's discharge is still quite clearly a blue-white in color. I'm not seeing any yellow from the uh, sodium. We are, however, getting some leakage into the workbench at the bottom. So, power down. Notice that when a Marx generator is slightly damp, like this one is now, its firing rate decreases a little bit. It's only firing a quarter to a third as rapidly as it does when it's bone dry. 